What's going on guys? This is Michael Rock. If you want to take classes on class into a whole new level, I have several tips and tricks that you can start using today to get better looking videos. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be using my web camera on my laptop and my phone's camera, but these tips would perfectly work for any kind of external camera or any kind of camera that you have. All right, so the tip number one is to use a key light. Key light is the main source of your image. If you want to build some kind of a professional light scheme, it is basically recommended to set it at 45 angle degree from yourself. But for our purpose, we don't necessarily have to do that. And you can just place it directly in front of you. And you can also use window as a key light. Just remember that the key light should be in front of you, not behind. And for all my videos, I use a soft box as a key light because most of the time, I record my videos at night. So if you have classes in the evening, just grab any kind of light that you have at home, place it in front of you. And if you have some stuff to make the light just less harsh, you can use them, but don't forget about fire safety. The tip number two is to check your background. Just make sure that it's nice and clean and it doesn't have any kind of stuff that can disturb you while you're having a class. If you want to add more depth to your video, you should consider to make as much distance as possible between you and your background. And also try to separate yourself from the background using any kind of a background light. If you don't have this option, you can just use a wall behind you. Maybe some people would argue with that because it would make your video look a little bit flat, but sometimes you don't really have time to prepare your background or maybe you have a class in another place. So just having a clean wall behind you is much better than having some sort of a messy background. Okay, now we have our key light, we have our background prepared. So now it's time to think about the position of a camera. Naturally, when you speak to somebody in real life, you always have them somewhere in front of your eye level. So no matter which device you're using, it's really good to do the same with your camera. So when I'm having a class using my laptop, I always try to put something like a box or a bunch of books under it. And maybe from a side, it looks kind of weird, but <laughs> drastically change the way you look in front of the camera. All right, at this point, we already prepared everything related to our camera. So we can open class in and click on this little icon in the down left corner and open a device check. On the first page, you can find all the information about your system and then we click next and check our video image. Well, I think it looks pretty good. So now click able to view and we can go to the next tip and talk about speakers. I strongly recommend you to use any kind of headphones when you're having a class because first you obviously would be able to hear everything more clear and second, using headphones will reduce the echo a lot. So you can advise to your students to use headphones too. Now let's check the speaker using device check tool and hit play button and choose what you hear. Adjust the volume if necessary and click on able to hear button. And the last tip for today is to check your microphone before the class and also if it is possible to use any kind of external microphone. And you can also plug in your headphones and use a mic on these headphones because it will improve the quality of the audio a lot. Let's check our microphone using class in. Check the microphone that you're using now and hit record button so you would be able to hear yourself the same way you students will hear you. And now let's try to check the audio quality while using internal microphone. Hey, what's up? This is Michael Rock. And external microphone. Hey, what's up? This is Michael Rock. All right, guys. So these were five easy tips and tricks to improve your video and audio quality. So before it was like this. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to see you. And changed into this. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to see you. I think the difference is pretty obvious and I think it won't take you too much time to do the same. But what I'm pretty sure about that it will change your class's quality a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here and you have never used Classin before, please check my link down below in the description so you will get one month absolutely for free to check all its amazing features. Please let me know what you think about this video and if you have any other tips and tricks that you would like to share, 
feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very, very soon in the next video.